Hi everyone, it's Diane. I am back with that just so transfer backwards thing we did presumably in the previous video. We're going to make a Buster collage. That's from the movie Seven Chances. So there. And I have magazines here. Since the movie is Seven Chances, and it does have, that's a sundial. Were you getting that? Uh, time is of an, the, the essence and part of this movie. So I was kind of thinking of trying to find watches, clocks, and maybe the number seven. I know that's, that's original, right? But naturally I thought of that. So, uh, well, I don't think we really want a pink watch. So that's what I'm looking for. Let's see if anything else you know, appeals to me. And if this gets horribly boring, we'll shut it off and do something else. I'll go about my business and do it by myself, I guess. Well, there's a watch face. And I probably don't need to say this, do I? It's a silent movie. And yes, Buster's not wearing his typical baggy pants and pork pie hat and this. And he's supposed to be a, I don't know what his title is, but some kind of stockbroker type job in this movie. So he's dressed differently. Oh my, there's a, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh. Wow. <laughs> now here's an obscure reference nobody's going to know. It's a foghorn leghorn cartoon where he's teasing the dog and lets a bunch of chicks out. And here comes a whole mess of them. It's kind of neat. I don't know if this one could it be like standing on it or something. That's a thought. Well, I'll cut it out. And I don't know if I want to write. It wants to write, but have any word or phrase or anything? I don't know. I really think that far in advance. I may have to cut out the black. I don't know. Okay. Well, this makes seems pretty pretty cooperative. It's nice of it. Oh, should I put that in my strawberry page stuff for my glue book? No, because there's no room for it. Here's another one. I want another one. My goodness. Oh, this makes things pan off. Oh, this is an old AD, by the way. I didn't even put that up. Such a fabulous magazine, Diane. Why don't you tell us what it is? Well, I'm sure you knew it wasn't a Birds and Blooms, right? I always like this page with these stamps that I've done absolutely nothing with yet. Every time I find that page, I go, oh yeah, I like that. I should do a collage with that. But then I don't. And sometimes um, I will find an appropriate phrase as I'm hunting for other things. So who knows? That might happen too. Oh, there's a watch. Okay. 
Now the next time I need a clock or something, I'm never going to be able to find one, right? I used them all up. She's hogging all the watches. Well, this is nice because I didn't pull that many magazines and I really thought, oh, I'm going to have to pause. I'm not going to find stuff. So that's nice. Well, I didn't find a seven though. It's not being perfect. Oh, there's another one. Why isn't that cool? I think that's actually too busy. Although I could see Buster liking a watch like that. He was very into gadgetry. That's a word, isn't it? And we have a very nice day here. It's not hot. There's a great breeze. It's nice and sunny. It, it really, it's one of the picture perfect days of summer. And I'm inside making a collage. <laughs> you're dying you could do this when it's 40 below out. Yeah, you're right. Isn't that interesting, that color? I think so. Well, I still didn't find a seven. That's a good place to find numbers. Yeah, what kind of magazine would that lend itself to? I don't know. Well, we're kind of past the ad stuff. This looks like part of Buster's house there. All right, well... Yeah, what can, I, uh, yeah, where can you get a seven when you need one? I think it might be in a decorating thing, some kind of, you know, instructions. All right, I'm going to pause, cut these out try to come up with some arrangement. I guess I'll look for a seven off camera because I don't know where to look. Yeah, I have to think about that. Okay, I know, I need a Seagram 7 ad, don't I? Huh. All right, we'll think about that. I'll be back. Okay, everything is glued down. It's it, cool, but I think you're losing Buster. You see the watches more, don't you think? I think, anyway. So I'm going to try knocking it back with gesso. I've got a wet paper towel here. So if I hate it, maybe I could swipe it right off and or kind of move it around. I think that's probably better. I don't know that I love it, but I think it's better. So, there. And I did find a phrase in my little Buster file I liked because I hope it's not too much of a pun, but true art is timeless. Get it? And actually, I'm not wild about the color there. It's like a dark red, but that's what it is. I 
Oh, maybe I should leave that. It's a seven. I didn't think of that. Seven chances. Yeah, I could not find a seven. I looked through, I don't know, three magazines. I could not find one. So I cut one, just cut one out of paper just to kind of see what I thought anyway. Uh, magazine paper. But um, I don't know if it was, this one is just too big. I don't know, but I didn't really like it. So I still don't really know what I'm going to do about that. And I did, this is actual text in here out of a magazine, not that reverse thing we did. There was really nothing there in the middle, and it looked uh, unincorporated, really. So I laid that in there and put a little gesso over it. Actually, nobody is going to get this, but it says 25 there. But that's the year this movie came out, 1925. I thought that was kind of funny. All right. Let me hold it up for a minute. Here, look at my exciting papers. You know, I think if nothing else, that actually kind of gives it a little more interest besides the knocking back feature. It just looks a little more interesting to me. Okay, um, I kind of thought of maybe, uh, and I'll stress maybe, um, stamping a few sevens. I don't know if that's hokey. But I have to let this dry. So yeah, my brain is going, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to come back and we'll discuss or do something. I don't know. Hang on. Okay, I threw on a couple smaller magazine sevens. It's okay. So I got, I've got two different ones. But I'm still not convinced, so I'm going to <laughs> stamp. Um, I think this is actually onion skin, not tissue. But I put that down first, just to see. Because I just don't want to stamp on this and then go, I don't want it again. Because then I'll have to piece over again and annoying stuff like that. Or it could even be up on, that would be better. And I thought of a color too. I could do blue. I've got like a dark blue, but I don't know about that either. Well, what do you guys think? It's okay, but it looks um, a little small, a little lost, maybe a little, what is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think at this exact moment in time, I'm going to not do it. I was thinking, though, of stitching. So if I stitched maybe like here, maybe these two corners. Okay, I'm going to pause and possibly stitch because I'm not sure about that either. All right, I'll come back. Uh, quite possibly could be done. Okay, hang on. Okay, we have stitching. That's fine. I think I'm going to get rid of the sevens. It's kind of a nice little filler. 
but then again it's little and I think it's just too because if you really look at you know the watch faces there you know, little numbers I don't think we need little more little stuff but I think it could use something so I'm thinking spattering I've got a darker blue here but I'm going to have to mask off quite a bit of this because I don't really want it well, I definitely don't want it on Buster but I don't know that I want it on all these watches I don't know I don't think I want it on the sundial rock <laughs> paper um I don't want it on the words just a minute something Okay, nothing left to spatter, Diane. Backing up a little bit. All right, let's take this all off and see what we have. Maybe some there. So I got it on that anyway. How did that happen? I drag it across. Oh, just a minute. Yeah, everyone else is out except him. Well, you came late. All right, let me let this dry a little bit. Let the dog out. I'll clean up this blue stuff and come back one last time. Okay, I think I'm done because I'm kind of afraid to do anything else to it at this point. I think I overdid the spatters, which I think that's the first time I've ever said that. <laughs> I think it was too much. So I actually schmutzed out a little bit with a wet paper towel, and I kind of would not really recommend that, but I did. And actually, I think it looked better than it did. I still think it's a little heavy on the spatters, but um, it's a little interesting, and it needed something. And just for the record, if I was to really frame this, or something here. I think I would um, bring it up a little bit. Can you see? I think that's it's just a little too much on the bottom, I think. But anyway, that's a little foot now. But okay, there we go. A Buster mixed media collage on that backwards paint magazine transfer thing. But it's pretty cool. Heavy on the spatters, but it's pretty cool. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a nice day out there.